What's up, guys? Leo here, Kimmel RC. Uh, it's been a minute. I uh, apologize, guys. I haven't been uh, doing many speed runs lately, so I haven't posted up any speed run videos because, um, as a lot of you guys know, I've uh, transitioned over to doing drag racing mostly. You know, I still love my speed runs. I'll still get you guys some some fresh speed run videos out um, as soon as I get time uh, to get out there to the spot and do some more speed runs. Um, but with that said, man, you guys got to get into this drag race and this shit is, is a different level. It's totally different adrenaline rush, different, different fun, man. There's a lot of competition, a lot of guys out here, uh, a lot of people betting on races, you know, just hanging out, doing a lot of good stuff, a lot of money to win. It's really fun, man. You know, this is my, my Haboa drag car. Lucy, calm down. So I got the dog in here. Um, you know, I truly believe it's one of the fastest 132 foot GT drag cars in the world. Um, I'll put it against any of the fastest guys out there and um, give them hell. So with that said, guys, um, let me introduce you to the new kill mode. Trying to steal the limelight, little girl, relax. Um, here, come on, say hi. There you go. There's a new Kill Mode 2900 KV Expect uh, custom wine from TV Power. So there it is. Here we go. This is the same size uh, motor as the 4070 uh, 2700 that I currently have. This motor I specifically designed for drag racing. So I'm not going to say it's not going to work for speed runs because I'm pretty confident it'll be a killer for speed runs, but I haven't personally tested it in a speed run car yet. So I don't want to tell you guys to go ahead and buy it for speed runs yet. So I promise I'll get this motor into a speed run car soon. And um, I guarantee we're going to put up some numbers like we always do. Um, another thing I've been working on guys, and again, uh, pay attention to the, keep watching through the video because I'm going to do a pass uh, with the GT car, with the Kilmet X-Spec motor in there and show you guys what it can do. Um, so obviously I've been working on doing some cat packs for drag racing. So this is my new little three pack mini, uh, drag pack. Um, this is the same capacitance as my three pack that I sell for the speed runs, uh, just about uh, two thirds of the size. So this is compact down, you know, obviously in drag racing, you want the uh, lightest possible. And this little three pack is putting up some serious numbers. I'll show you guys again. I'm going to pull the log on the next run video I do and show you exactly what it does uh, real time. Um, this is the four pack version of it. And then I also, I know you guys have been asking, a lot of you guys have been asking for a longer pack than the four pack. So I had a four pack compact put together. And, you know, you guys know I don't just put things out there just to put them out there. Um, you know, I test everything. I run it. I wouldn't sell something. I wouldn't run in my own car. So what I've done now to uh, make the circuit board that I currently have even better. And, you know, you guys know I have a pretty efficient circuit board. You know, with cat packs, it's all about resistance. So... Being that I added an extra capacitor on here and I put larger uh, caps on here, you know, electricity's got to get in and out or else it's useless. So what I had them do, and you guys already know I used to use uh, gold-plated double uh, weight copper rails on my cap packs and double-sided. So there's a, a rail on both sides of this, top and bottom, so it's doubly efficient. So what I had them do with this one to ensure that this five pack would be the most efficient pack on the market as far as... Uh, long packs go i had them double the width of the rails as well so uh, my older rails are, are thinner than this so uh, this there's no way you're going to outflow this circuit board on these five packs so this is what it looks like in the finished product uh these will be up on the website in the five pack soon and then you guys also see the team six packs that i've been putting out there so again this is the new kill 2900 x spec drag spec motor um i think it's the baddest motor on the market for gt drag cars right now and I'll do a quick pass reel in this video right here. You're going to see my uh, GT car run on a 6L pass with the 2900 x pack. And for those of you guys that know drag racing, this car runs 1.7s consistently, which is fast. No bragging. Um, so again, stay tuned, guys. There's going to be a pass coming up right now. These should be up. By the time you're watching this video, it should be live on the website, and it should be start shipping and um, as soon as possible. So pay attention guys. If you guys aren't doing drag racing, you know, I was reluctant to try drag racing, but man, I'm hooked right now. It's the competition is just so fun. It only takes two of you guys. You get a short road, 
um, measure it out whatever distance put some cones at the end get a flashlight and have someone call the race and you go and there's so much competition you guys are going to love it i promise you if you switch over to drag you're going to really enjoy it you know you know you're not bound by one you can do speed runs and drag too so it took me a long time to get over to the drag racing and i'm hooked now so um pay attention here comes the run right now guys cheers what's up guys here we go i'm gonna do a uh quick test hit with the new kill mode 2900 x spec check it out um it's the hobo gtb it's my same car I always run unfortunately the tree ain't working today but we're gonna do a test pass just to show what it does um but i've ran consistent one sevens with this motor already on six cells so you'll see it one two three four five six it's a single six cell battery guys that's the new little kill mode mini drag three pack i'll have those up on the website as well pretty soon i'll show you guys the uh data log for that after the run too so let me get this car going and we'll uh do a quick video all right so a lot of guys always ask can the motor be run on 7 8s 6s guys is all you need i mean it's a drag motor it's an expect drag motor so you guys can do what you want with it um just remember like all the cm motors tp doesn't warranty the race motors um but 6s i'm telling you guys set up your car properly on 6s and you're gonna be happy with it but you want to run seven you think you can control it by all means do your thing but right now i believe this is one of the fastest um 132 foot gt cars in the world uh, just based on my numbers my consistency um like i said unfortunately the track um is not working today so we're just gonna do a pass and you guys should be able to see on the video hopefully the video does it justice one second Oop. sorry guys So again, this is going to be a 6S pass, 132 feet. Um, again, this is an easy 1.7 car, consistently, no prep. these guys to hold the camera down there for me. Hey Sean. Hey Sean. Can you hold the video for me? The old BLX motor? They run good, man. It's a good little motor. It goes straight, too, with the rubber tires on the front. Waiting on my camera guy. So it's going that way, so I need to leave that no spot. Keep it recording. It's already recording now. Yep. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys, camera cut off for a second. I wonder if it did it cut off while it was in the middle of the run or after? After. Okay, good. Fast, too. Keep it running. I'm going to put the log up real quick show these guys what's up. Just so you guys can see, you saw the 6S pass there. It's the uh, Kill Mode Expect 2900. I'm going to show you the uh, data log real quick. show you what kind of numbers we're pulling. 
with that little baby cat pack. I wish I had my temperature gun. This motor doesn't get hot. Right? Yeah. Hmm? yeah. Nothing. Watch. You won't even be able to feel. Could you eat that? Six. I'll say, could you eat that? Um, I don't recommend it. But... I don't recommend nothing though, kid. I mean, you can eat it. You can eat that That's probably not even 100 degrees. Can you hold it for me? Still recording? Yeah. Did you record my password? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I showed him what that, the little cat pack. I wish I had the time up because I know that would that looked like a good pass too. Yeah, that bitch that was a perfect pass. Mm, that was a nice pass too. Straight through the mud. Yeah. Tell you when daytime when the road's warm like that, man, it's good. It's dead in. It goes. Kill him dead out here. All right, here we go. Should be only one run on that on this log because I cleared it out. For the pass, so. There we go. Look at that. All right, here's our run. Let me zoom on it. All right. So our, our max ripple with the little mini drag pack max was 0.73 volts on 6s you can see here it's 25 max 28 point and let me show you the max esc temp on that run 106 degrees and then in the run so you see we're pulling 358 amps on 25 or 25.2 so 6s so again a max ripple of 0.73 volts and in the run towards the end we're talking 0.1 killing it that's good numbers right there Perfect number. that's the little baby mini three pack now this is the same capacitance as my regular three pack but i customized this one for drag so it's about half the size altogether. so the bottom again it's on 6s the new kill mode xpex 2900